Hi, welcome back to Azure IT Squad. Today I'm going to continue the episode 2 of Steps to Host a Website in Azure VM Video Series. So I am Shamir Bajapriya, Solution Architect, Law Sword Limited. So let's see what we have done in previous video and what we have to do today. So we have completed uh, creating a virtual machine in Azure and today we have to configure your cPanel. You have, if you have a domain, so we have to configure your domain cPanel to point your domain to newly created virtual machine. So let's see how we can do it. Okay, let's continue with step two. Configure your cPanel. Okay, before to continue, uh, before to configure your cPanel, you have to keep record of your public IP address. So let's see how we can find public IP of our virtual machine. So I am going to virtual machines in Azure portal so you can you, will, you can see here Azure is called VM this is the virtual machine which I have created so I am click on it then on the overview panel you can see public IP in here so what I do is I am going to copy it like this okay once you copy your public IP address just log into your cPanel so most probably your cPanel should look like this so since my main domain uh, asoitscott.com pointed to my web site so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a subdomain so directly I'm going to advance own editor and uh, through there I'm going to create a, a record and I'm going to name it as session dot azure iot scott dot com and i will update as ttl as 144.0 and i am pasting my public ip okay so once all the information is uh, entered i am clicking add the code so hopefully you'll be able to see your error code session.asoid.com and point it to this here this is the only thing you have to do in your cpanel what we have done is in in a summary so we created a subdomain as session.asoid.com then we pointed that domain to our virtual machine public ip as a error code so let's see when we enter this domain on browser what will happen okay nothing get loads so uh, it can be due to two reasons one is uh, it need it's required a little time to update all the dns servers and we haven't done any uh, virtual machine configuration to uh, host our site so while this DNS record get updated, uh, we will move go to our VM machine and let's do whatever the thing we have to do in virtual machines. Okay, so we have completed uh, step two, configure your cPanel. Now we have to continue with uh, step three. It is configure your security setting in VM. So let's see how we how to configure the VM and security settings. To configure your virtual machine you have to connect to the virtual machine so i'm going to connect my virtual machine so uh, this is my virtual machine and you can see when you are in the overview tab so you will see this is uh, tools like uh, connect restart stop like this so in here i'm going to click on connect so you can see the rdp file we get downloaded to your pc what you have to do is you have to click on the RDP file, they need to last this connect. Okay. Now it is asking for the username and password. Okay, now in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, as a different name and I'm giving my username and I am giving my password. Okay, now it's asking again. So the I'm going to yes. I was correcting. Here is my VM. Now it is prepared in my desktop. Okay. 
this is now I am in my virtual machine desktop so now I there's another way to connect to this virtual machine so let me show that path uh, you don't want to go to the uh, portal and uh, every time you download you don't need to download this uh, RDB file what you have to do is you have to keep your public IP remember then simply get the remote desktop tool from your PC and then paste your pub, type your public IP in the computer name and just click on connect then it will ask you the username and password um, okay, here it is this is the second way okay let's see what we have to do in this VM okay first thing is you have to install IIS on this server so let's see how you can enable install and enable IIS first thing you have to go into uh, administrative tools and server manager on server manager just a little bit scroll down and click on add roles then click on next on this list select IS web server okay okay and click next okay if you are going to host ASP.NET uh, web application so just select this uh, application development uh, uh, options and if you want to do CV directions likewise based on your requirement you have to select all the role services like this okay if you want to enable FTP also you have to enable that role okay now the selected features are uh, enough for me to host a HTML site okay I am clicking on next then I am clicking install it will uh, get a uh, few minutes to get this uh, IIS get enabled so we will uh, wait for that okay. now uh, IIS is uh, IIS installation is completed okay. so another key point is uh, I am configuring uh, Windows Server 2000 R2 the the user interfaces might be different from uh, server version to server version another key point which i want to highlight is if you want to uh, host a uh, sp.net application there's another feature set you have to enable to that uh, you just go to uh, feature summary and click on add features so you have to enable this dotnet and install uh, .NET Framework 3.51 okay and requested feature likewise uh, if you have uh, any other .NET Frameworks you want to have like .NET Framework 4.5 you have to install them on the server so I am just uh, clicking on uh, next button to install uh, .NET Framework 3.5.1 so I am clicking on install so this also will take uh, one minute to do. We need to get this installed. Let's wait for that. Now, .NET Framework uh, installation also completed. So, I am clicking on close. Okay, let's see our IS okay, here. Internet Information Services. If you uh, not see it in a uh, menu, just search it as IIS then it will come like this okay here IIS manager normally uh, IIS uh, installed correctly you should be able to uh, get this uh, to see the IIS uh, logo when you type this public IP on website let's see uh, can we see it or not okay I am going to my uh, Azure portal and I am copying this IP address okay I got a new tab and I'm pasting it I'm just clicking it 
So it is taking uh, long to get this uh, IS default page. Actually, this is not going to load because there is another configuration you have to do on the uh, VM from the Azure portal. That is, you have to open the HTTP port from the firewall. So let's see how we can do this. When you are on the uh, VM uh, settings, just click on network interfaces. Then you will be able to see your network interface. Then click on it. Okay. On that menu, you will be able to see network security group. Click on that. You will see your network security group. Okay. In here, now this is the overall summary. You can see inbound security rules and outbound security rules. There is only one inbound security rule currently defined. It is for RDP access. So you have to open the new port for HTTP. So click on inbound security rules. And I am going to click on add. And I will name it at HTTP service. I am going to select HTTP. And simply, I am going to OK. okay. So it will take a few seconds to get this updated. The firewall rule. Once it is uh, updated, you'll be able to see like this your new added security rule. Once your security rule is added, you will be able to see the default IIS page like this. It means now our VM is ready to host a website. Okay, as I said, okay, now we have completed. Uh, all three steps now we have to move with the final step it's uh, publish your website okay, let's see how to publish our HTML website into our uh, IIS on virtual machine okay I have a small website uh, HTML website which I have created so first thing is uh, I'm copying this uh, folder into my IIS root directory the main C in a path ww root okay I am paste it from here on here okay now I have to uh, configure the IIS so I am going to uh, create a new website like I will click on right click on the site add website okay you have to give a site name I will type it at session and you have to Select your root directory of your website. Okay, it is in that path. Double dot write your website. Okay, and uh, you have to give the uh, domain address of your website. It is session dot azure iot code dot com. Okay. Okay. Once you created your website, it will uh, list like this. And there's another thing you have to configure it is your default document. So your default document would be index.html. So I really am moving it to up. Okay, now it's there. Okay. I will show the mouse. Okay, this is index. Okay. Now all the configuration is completed for my website. So what I am doing is I am restarting my IIS server. Okay. Now when you type your domain name, you will be able to see our sample website. Let's see our last some website is working or not. Okay, this is the website uh, which is hosted uh, in a newly created uh, Azure Virtual Machine on a high IIS. So you see session.azurewebsites.com. Uh, I have uh, inserted a sample image like this. This is the website. So I hope that uh, now you'll be able to create a virtual machine and uh, host your own website on that virtual machine. 
uh, I hope to do a, uh, another video to host a uh, .NET, uh, ASP.NET uh, website uh, on uh, Azure Virtual Machine. Uh, let's uh, go for the summary. Okay, in this uh, video series, uh, we covered as a step one uh, how to get a virtual machine in Azure. And as a step two, we configured the cPanel to point your domain in to the uh, virtual machine. And step three, we conf uh, configured the virtual machine and secured the settings to host a website. As a final step, we, uh, we were able to host a sample HTML website. Okay, then uh, thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you learned something uh, uh, new to your knowledge. Okay, let's meet again through Azure Discord. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see what is our next step.